Good evening. What happened before a deadly shootout with Amarillo police Sunday night should have claimed another life. But because of a miracle, a baby boy survived. Trayvon Gay has a story you'll see only on ABC 7. For Stephanie and Cameron Kelly, it was a typical Sunday night. And we put him to bed. We went into the room and we had a show that um, we were watching, you know, about in... I think we stayed up till about 10, 15 p.m. We turned off the lights and went to bed. About an hour later, Stephanie and Cameron heard a loud noise. All I heard was a loud bang. Then their world turned upside down. Go get Noah. Go get Noah. We didn't realize that from floor to ceiling, it was completely, his room was completely mm -hmm. blocked off. While running from police, Jesus Rodriguez crashed into the Kelly's home. The car coming right into the room where 11-month-old Noah was sleeping. And... The whole time, I'm just wanting to get to him. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. I can't hear anything. All I hear is just silence. And I see the cops there. And I'm just trying to get to him. I, I think he's, you know, either. I, I think he's being held hostage or dead or something. I was just trying to get to him. And I couldn't hear him, so that's what scared me the most. Stephanie and Cameron couldn't get to their son. I know that, that God was with us for sure. But someone was definitely watching over Noah. They said, we don't know how he's alive. Noah was buried by the rubble. Police told the Kellys that's what kept the car from crushing him. Miraculously, Noah only had two minor scratches. He wasn't crying. No. He wasn't, he had no, he just had his normal happy, just, like, hey, mom and dad, what's up? The Kellys know the house will be repaired, but what happened that night will leave an emotional scar. Makes me nervous to mm -hmm. have him sleep, even when this gets rebuilt. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be mm -hmm. really nervous and just yep. to put him back in here for bed. In Amarillo, Trayvon Gay, ABC 7 News. Now, friends of the Kelly family have created a GoFundMe account to help them with medical bills and to buy new furniture for Noah's room. If you would like to donate, there's a link at abc7amarillo.com.